everyone. Thanks for watching Access Hockey MI as always. We really appreciate all of the lovely comments and views we've had on our last two videos. If you haven't seen those yet, please go watch them because they are awesome. We're um, awesome. <laughs> today we're going to talk about Dennis Chalowski, kind of his development and our opinion on where he fits, if he fits with the Detroit. With the Detroit Red Wings. We know what team we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so we got him in tw t <laughs> we got him in 2016, 20th overall. So he had a lot of promise. A ton of people were excited about him because he is a point-producing defenseman, and he came from the QMJHL where he was really good. So when the Red Wings got him, I think he was kind of um, – a prized possession, mm, if you will. Yes, yes. Um, but let's talk about his current. Let's. <laughs> okay, so the 2019-20 season, we did see some pretty good production. Uh, he was with Detroit for 36 games. He had eight points in those 36 games. And then with Grand Rapids, he had 30 games played and 13 points. So for a defenseman, that's pretty not bad. It's pretty good. It's um, consistent. Yeah, it's consistent. He signed through the 2021 season. I don't know if he said that already. Either. Well, he is. So there you go. So as far as his development, he's been with us for three seasons or so. Um, his fourth season, he actually spent um, in the QMJHL. Yeah, still in 2016, says, he played one game with us. Yeah, so, so we don't. With that him. in mind, <laughs> but with that, I mean, he's been developing, um, but he seems to have kind of plateaued in the last couple seasons. Um, so we're gonna just gonna tell you how it is. We're just gonna tell it straight. He is plateaued. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these are my plateau hands, everybody. <laughs> so with this time that he's had, I, I would think after three or four seasons that you should you should be pretty far advanced. You should be standing out in the crowd and the rookies coming in should not be outshining you. Mm -hmm. um, and with his transition between Detroit and Grand Rapids, that should also be something where it's like, hey, you you're playing an outstanding game. Yeah. We just haven't seen that yet. Yeah, and to speak to that, and she's talking probably about Moritz Sider as being the one that's outstanding. What? So, I didn't say that. <laughs> so we've seen Moritz Sider come up and already show that he's got a pretty good chance to be in the NHL. I would imagine sometime next year he'll mm -hmm. probably be there. But Dennis Jalowski does seem to have plateaued a little bit. And you see this when you watch him in a game setting. He seems a little nonchalant about mm -hmm. plays He's not 100% invested in, it doesn't seem like he's 100% He doesn't seem like he's 100% present in the yeah. game. Yeah, and I don't, we don't want to discredit any work that he's done or anything that he um, is pushing for, anything like that. So we're really just speaking from what we see, and mm -hmm. from what we see, we're not super sure that he is someone that the Red Wings would miss if he had get, if he were to get traded. Shooting straight, man. Yeah, that's... we're just not, we're not sure that that's something that's true, because mm -hmm. we do have a lot of excellent defensemen coming up. We've got Moritz Sider, we've got Philip Ronick, who's already been with the Red Wings and has made his plea to stay there. We've got um, Gus Lindstrom, who's there. We've got Jared McIsaac, who's coming up mm -hmm. um, to play soon. We've just got a lot of guys mm -hmm. vying for this spot, and I'm not thinking that Chalowski's making a good enough impression with his playability as far as more than just production. Right. Because we do say how important it is to be a point-producing defenseman, but at the same time, it has to come in every level of your game mm -hmm. in order for it to work. <laughs> to actually... <laughs> matter. That's yeah, a hard way of saying it. To work. But, I mean the whole production thing, like on paper, he's really good. Yes. Um and like Janae said too, like we've been watching him in the game setting and that's something where you can see all the stats you want to see, but unless you've actually seen these player in action yeah. consistently it's hard to really form a, an educated opinion and from our perspective I mean we've watched him game after game after game in camps and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff and there doesn't seem to be that sense of urgency that's really driving him and though yeah. he may have it we have not seen it so Correct. it does look different for every player but mm -hmm. when you know when you're letting pe the pucks get out of the blue and you could have very easily gotten it you're doing pirouettes in the zone when you really should be getting it back into the offensive zone <laughs> so that kind of stuff is you know it, it drives a person crazy because you are getting the points but the consistent on ice presence is not. Yeah, helping it the comes team. down to is he someone that can be trusted on the ice and right. uh, in very important place. He got a lot of power play time with mm -hmm. the Griffins last season, from what I recall of the last season. Oh, it was so long it was ago. A beautiful thing, really, <laughs> uh, it was. Um, <laughs> Isn't hockey so great? So we're not super sure. Like I have been saying that it would be a huge loss if he was not with the Red Wings. We feel like if he was traded, we could get maybe picks off mm -hmm. of him, maybe um, a good player in return. And this isn't to say that in 2021 he doesn't come out all guns blazing mm -hmm. and he's just amazing and completely proves us wrong. That, that know, would be with fantastic. Players, yeah, with players who are kind of struggling or maybe not even struggling, but they're not exactly impressing. I would love to have them have see, the most amazing season. I would love ever to had see improvement in his tenacity. Yep. In his skating, you're not so schlump like. <laughs> yeah, you know, just kind of. I don't know how else to. It's chunky. 
It's a chunky skating. A little bit, you know, yeah. hard to start, a little um, labored off the go. Yeah. That kind of, you know, all the, all the terminology. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see those two things mm -hmm. um, amp up. And you know what? Some players are just not as out there as other players. And not, the development isn't as obvious, mm -hmm. I would say. But like we said, we kind of feel like he's plateaued a little bit. Let us know what you think in the comments, if you think that is true as well, if you've seen more than we have. Um, let us know kind of what you think. Yeah. We'd be really interested to hear what you say, and if you think he's going to come out 2021 with uh, a whole barred yeah. and nothing. Well, should he be trade bait? Should we re-sign him, give him you know a little bit more of a chance? And yeah. I think it's probably going to be a 50-50 split, most likely, but... Yeah. I think it's one of those things where, like you said, he's he's a bit of a dichotomy. And, yeah. You know, I'd be really excited to see him do great, but if not, where can we move him to help further the team's rebuild? And further the development. Yep. So that's kind of our take. Let us know what you think below, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.